We're doing some open setup racing. We're at the Dover in the uh, C car or the C truck rather. Um, wanted to uh, try this out. It looks like I guess since it's the off season or something, they've got uh, different tracks for the different open and fixed series. So, uh, hey, that's good incentive for me to do some more open races. Uh, try out something a little bit. Uh, new have uh, another option each week um, I shouldn't need any more incentive to do <laughs> more open races because I've been wanting to I just haven't so but uh, here we are we did it this time so uh, I don't feel too fast um, I just got my free setup from uh, OSR as usual but um, it's not the setup it's me <laughs> I'm just I've never been all that great with Dover so uh, there's that going on, and uh, you know, plus it is a free setup, but again, like I said, I think it's mostly me. <laughs> that was not a great lap. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have a very good lap. I don't think, uh, just don't think it's happening, but um, try to get something decent here. It's, uh, it's pretty loose. But uh, that's, I think that's good. I'm hoping that uh, my car will be uh, good in the long run, hopefully. Um, maybe be better uh, on the right front if I've got a little bit looser of a vehicle going, uh, going forward. Um, I do have 100% uh, tape on right now to try to get a little bit extra speed. So I'll uh, roll around a little bit, but... If I uh, just try to hit some more laps, my engine's going to explode, so might have to pull it in here in a moment. It's, uh, yeah, just not that fast. Um, 20, 20, 22 and then eights <laughs> is what I got. And, uh, well, I mean, we're in front of some guys. Got, uh, some of these guys might be doing their uh, second lap still, but... Looks like we're probably going to be running maybe mid-pack, drop down to 8th, and uh, we've had about 16 qualifying, so I'm exactly in the middle right now. So that's pretty accurate, I guess. It's uh, still got time to fall a little lower. Uh, if we do end up having to do green flag pit stops, which uh, isn't too likely at Dover because uh, it's a tough track and guys tend to get into each other here, but if we do... It's very difficult to get on this pit road. Very, very difficult. Especially if you're like in a in a group of cars or something and you've got the worn tires. Like I'll try to do it here. Really gotta go in slow. And then you gotta get all the way down to oof, 35. So it feels like you're going so soft into here. And it can still be rough <laughs> getting it down to speed, so. Uh, we could see a lot of uh, pit road mistakes if we get uh, green flag pit stops, uh, including from me. <laughs> but uh, if we do pull it off cleanly, we might uh, have a couple of guys getting themselves penalties. So that's something to watch out for. And I'll go ahead and pull it in here. Um, big field. How many we got? 24. Unfortunately, we're the four car. Uh, even after I've lost some eye rating recently, trying to uh, get some races done, and um, I did some uh, more like C fixed at uh, Homestead this week because uh, I wanted to get a little better at that, and uh, got wrecked out by yeah, caught up in a wreck one of the races, and then the other race I did okay, but it, did, it wasn't enough for uh, I think I got fourth that race. It wasn't enough to make up for what I lost there. And uh, I don't remember what else I've been doing, but uh, just a couple of uh, bad luck races that I just did on my own time. And uh, didn't go so well. So um, hopefully we get a good finish here. But uh, expecting a lot of us in an open setup. And uh, we got some really fast guys in here. I mean, look at these times. Like, uh, we can maybe keep up with the guys that are just a couple tenths faster. They maybe pushed it a little harder in qualifying. And maybe we'll have a good, you know, long long run truck or something but like these guys that are getting laps up here they probably just got super fast uh, 
trucks or just are much better at Dover or both. So it's going to be hard for us to get, say, you know, our predicted fourth. Um, instead, just going to try to have a solid run, try to keep it clean, not forget to change my tape back to about 60. I'm uh, going 16 to 1. I thought about 14 to 1 to get help it turn a little better, but uh, I think uh, a longer race, you want uh, tire saving. And I'm not worried I'm going to, like, underturn the car or something, so. Um, maybe I wanted it 14 to 1. Maybe it would help me with a bit of a, a slide that I'm doing. But uh, if I'm going hard enough to be sliding, maybe I should back it down a little bit anyway. You know, maybe that means I'm pushing too hard. I don't know. We'll find out um, if it was a, a good idea or not, I guess. But, uh, Got our crew chief ready. We got our setup in. Got the tape figured out. It's not going to explode. So I also put my brake bias back to 52%. Uh, wanted to get some rotation, but uh, not going any further than that because, again, that pit road entry, uh, you got to get on the brakes. And uh, you know, if I got that brake bias far too uh, too far back, that's not going to be good. We're gonna be spinning out trying to get in, so. In my kit. I think I'm good with uh, how it is. Yeah. Hundred laps, Nine. so plenty of time. You know, pretty uh, short laps here at Dover, so it might go pretty fast, but uh, still a lot of laps to log. And uh, we'll leave plenty of space. We'll see if guys are patient or not. Uh, we'll try to ration those tires because this place can uh, chew them up pretty good. It's uh, one of those few tracks that has what the uh, it's a concrete surface, I guess. It's a little bit uh, different. I think that's what it is. Got like concrete surface here and uh, a couple other places. I think Nashville Super Speedway also. Something like that. And uh, we're one to green, so we'll uh, be getting started pretty soon here. Looks like a first gear start, maybe? Yeah, looks like it's a me. Let's make sure we're not spinning our tires, either. Looks like it's uh, pulling a little bit whenever we hit the gas, so we'll have to watch for that. Yeah, it's going to pull to the right. So we're going to have to be ready for that experience. I'll just be easy on the throttle because uh, I'm not trying to go anywhere in a hurry anyway. Get ready. Going green. Just uh, try to get a good, uh, decent jump. For this red. Okay. Yeah. 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 Alright. We saw a couple guys maybe having some tire spin. Space. Oh, uh oh. Record, 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 record. Fuck. Ooh. That was close. I couldn't slam on my brakes. That brake bias. So I had to. Uh, I could have gone a little harder. It's a tough balance, but uh, I wasn't sure if he was gonna stay up or if he was gonna s slide down. Thankfully, I made the right decision. Well. Not the greatest start to this one. That was already giving me uh, heart palpitations. <laughs> but uh, suddenly, we, suddenly we qualified a little better, and uh, suddenly it's going to be a roughly 95 lap race. That looks like a big wreck too. It looks like there was a nice track blocker behind us. You see some smoke from, I guess, some blown engines, damaged trucks. That's rough. Right off the start of this thing. 
Yeah, look at those damage trucks heading into the pits. That sucks. I already got one in there, too. Man. You can uh, have some big, big messes here. It's uh, narrow enough that uh, you can get some track blockers, particularly on these uh, straightaways. Sometimes in the corners, you know, you can uh, you can bank on the <laughs> banking, having uh, the truck slide down so you can kind of aim high, slow down and aim higher. But, uh, I think I was pretty lucky to make it through that. I sh probably should have been on the brakes a little harder. But like I said, I was a little afraid of uh, looping it if I got on it too hard. So kind of did like a light break. <laughs> it worked out, so. At first I thought when I saw the guy sliding, it's like, okay, well, he'll try to catch it and stay low or he'll keep it down there, but he did not. He kind of like did the correct and went back up towards the wall and that's when it got really scary. So not much of a green run to start, but <laughs> maybe we'll get another one. Like I said, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting these green flag pit stops. That's saying I got, no, it's not calibrated yet. I'm like, what? That says we have Why loads we of fuel, but no. <laughs> it's not calibrated yet. I don't know what I expected. Um, that's, uh, yeah, and there, it seems like there are a fair share of wrecks whenever we come to Dover. But maybe, uh, It'll clean itself up a bit. That could have been just uh, an accident that happened because, you know, guys are on cold tires. I don't even know. Yeah, let's see. We started, what, ninth? Is that where we ended up, I think? Yeah, so we just moved a row forward. <sighs> the uh, wheel spin might be even a touch. Just a barely tiny itty bitty bit more, even this time, so still gonna watch out for that. Probably about the same though, we didn't do any laps at all. I got a guy in the wall already somehow. Are you freaking serious, man? You're gonna cut down in front of me after you get in the wall? Might not have done it on purpose, but <sighs> not feeling good about long run potential here if guys are hitting the wall in the straightaway before we even get going. Maybe slow it down a little bit before we get into this corner. Try not to get on throttle too early or anything. And uh, try not to uh, use the wheel too much. Not trying to. Uh... Oh man, they're getting crazy behind us. Another thing I might have to think about too is, um, you know, the same reason. I'm uh, more likely to race this week. It's the same reason that uh, guys that are normally in fixed races might be racing this week. You know, um, guys that might be coming in here with uh, fixed, <laughs> fixed racing mentality because that's what they're normally in. Because they wanted to try this combination, and so uh, you might get uh, some fixed style racing this this week when you normally wouldn't. We'll see though. Just trying to save my tires though. I'm not trying to go right now. Just kind of caught these guys by accident. That guy's problem, man. This chrome guy. Go figure. You are really holding me up, dude. Lap 11, holding them up, like Jesus. 
That's some fixed set of mentality right there. How about you pass them instead of <laughs> getting held up? Take a higher line into the corner and cut down and maybe get a run on them or something? Like, I want to pass so badly this early on. Get uh, session last slap up. There we go. He's gonna wreck this guy. Man, he's getting so close and he's kind of like sliding up on the entry. Let's see how uh, how well he does in the long run. Kind of focusing on staying low, keeping easy on the throttle, maybe uh, cutting some speed down before I get into the corner. Oh, good, he's now he's blinking too. All right, that's fun. Consistency is going to be good for us. Another guy on the wall. Looked like he was. Might have just been a prediction code. Looks like we got some space behind us, um, even while uh, trying to be easy on it. So. That's, uh, that's some good, it's good to see. I think I'm being easy on it. I'm awful at saving tires. That's not been obvious by any other race I've ever done. But, uh, trying my best. I feel like I'm doing okay. much for the uh, 8 being held up because it sure looks like you can't keep up with the guy in front of him now. Uh, those guys up front have kind of taken off. Sure, they're uh, talented enough to uh, have an on edge setup or something and uh, go fast while also saving uh, tires. I'm gonna keep, uh, just try to keep it safe. Keep it out of the wall. Only reason I'm even getting close to the walls, not because I'm pushing, but because I'm trying to turn the wheel as little as possible. And uh, that makes it cut a little bit close sometimes. Got someone falling back up there, it looks like. Maybe they were uh, going hard from the start. That green and yellow. Right there. They might be falling back. At least we know we uh, aren't the worst of the tire savers, it would appear. We're uh, losing a little bit of time, though. So we lose some grip. I would prefer to go a little longer because I think guys could easily cause a caution by trying to get into the pits. So I don't want to get caught in a bad spot. 
as I'm pitting. Eight, cut that really close again. to try to make our way around Mr. John Deere here. Once we reach him, yeah, he's, his tires are shot, you can tell. I'm not gonna uh, kill the tires trying to pass the guy. Don't think we need to. Just kind of took my normal line and let uh, the tire grip take me through the corner a little faster than he was able to. That's a good sign. Let the uh, tire grip give us speed instead of forcing it out of the out of the truck. Kind of running away from the guy that was following us, though he might have just gotten uh, caught up a little bit behind the guy that was following back, I'm not sure. But that's plenty of space for us right now. Feeling tight yet? Maybe a touch. But, uh, nothing unmanageable by any means. Got a lap uh, truck already. And they might have gotten damage, come out or something. Might have been in that first wreck. Wish they would not be on the bottom line, but. It's fine. Let's take a little higher up. And get on through. Don't think that should hurt too much. I could be wrong, but you know, there's plenty of banking here. Even if you take that higher line, I don't think it's gonna like hurt the tires or anything. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. She made that last lap a little longer, though. See, we uh, lost a tenth or so. We're running up there, her last lap. So we're just in a rhythm right now. Just going through each lap, kind of doing that little tap of the brakes, slow it down a little bit. Oh, no, there's a caution. <laughs> All right, well, that means we're gonna be coming in get fresh tires. Not sure what happened. But, uh, the guy that was already left down now has a blown motor. Go hard, guys. We're going to go all the way around. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Get some nice car. Get fresh tires so I don't mind scrubbing them off during this caution period. If you ended up hitting him, there's no way I'd stop and lift it. Okay, so we'll fill it up with fuel. Might be enough to give us uh, enough to the end, not sure. But uh, we don't have to come down during green flags, so that's nice. Speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Okay, Colton, we'll fill you to the end of the race. Not a great pit entry, I couldn't see too well, but that's fine. Hmm, almost sped, so we're good. We can kind of get a little bit extra 
once you take off from the pits, you can kind of like throttle it up and uh, go over the limit for just a moment. So you see like the really like fast guys do, they'll like take advantage of that. It's a risky business, but I uh, went ahead and uh, pushed it a little, a little bit there. And we were good. So it looks like we gained a spot on pit road, if my math is correct. So we're fifth now, so that means we'll be starting on the inside. That's nice. Got loads of fuel. It says we got loads of fuel. We'll see about that. <laughs> but uh, I'm inclined to believe my crew chief. Tires were 90-90. I love that. That's great news, having it completely even. That means I'm going to keep doing what I was doing. May or may not be able to keep up with these super fast guys. Hint, we will not. <laughs> but uh, I think we can get a solid finish. If all goes well. Top 5 at the moment. Imagine uh, maybe someone that was up front. Oh yeah, that eight, that was causing me some headaches and stress. <laughs> they uh, must have had a bad pit stop. I don't know if they uh, maybe s uh, slid past their box a little bit or something, but they lost a couple spots. Or maybe the uh, right front tire carrier fell over or something. <laughs> Tripped over the wire. Fuel man took a spill. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on the fuel just in case. Uh, we're not actually good, but I think we should be. Yeah, it looks like uh, the. Number one's one of those setup shop guys, so he's probably got a really good setup in that thing, and um, probably pretty fast all on his own too. So it's always going to be hard to keep up with those guys in an open race. But we're gonna get going here. Always love that overpass at Dover. Be really cool to see a race from there. Watch uh, cars or trucks zoom by below. Let's see if we can get a decent jump. Longer wait. I think we uh, got going though. Gotta remember the uh, tires are cold, so gotta be nice to them. careful for any loose moments. And uh, hug that bottom line. That's been working for us. Since we get a little space behind, I'll take it even a little softer. Just a touch. these guys in front. If we get a green run to the end, we're going to be happy that uh, we saved. Ooh, 
take some focus to hit these marks just right. Like they're catching up a little bit behind us. You have to be aware of that. Push it a little bit because I'd rather them not try to fight me and pass me or anything. That's just going to hurt me more if I have to fight side by side with someone and. Uh, I'm just going to lose a lot of track position if I uh, let him go. So that's a bad situation all around. It would be great if I didn't have anyone I had to worry about behind me. But, uh, I think track position could be important, so I don't really necessarily want to just, you know, say take it easy and let the guy by. And record, record. Uh -oh. Well, record. they're wrecking anyway, so tire signal's not going to mean much if we get more cautions. So far though, no uh, yellow. We've got this 21 that likes to keep the low side. Thankfully you can't do it here. We're actually clear him before we get here. That's good. Caught him in a good spot. Under driving it really hard right now. If that makes any sense at all, that sounds like an oxymoron, but <laughs> under driving it as hard as I can. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's a uh, still takes some focus trying to uh, go the exact speed you want. The good thing about uh, taking it easy too is it's uh, easier to keep in control of the vehicle, so you're saving tires and uh, you know not sliding around or making any mistakes ideally. Whereas during you know a hot lap for qualifying or something, you're really pushing it to the edge and you know, maybe sliding by accident or something. So uh, it's nice. Watching that got behind me. Looks like I uh, got some room. Not too much, but enough that I don't have to sweat about it. Not sure if we'll ever uh, reel in these guys ahead, but um, if we're nice to the tires, at least we won't fall back. I don't think in the long run. Still got loads of fuel it says. Though it is uh, the estimated laps are somewhat close so we'll still have to keep an eye on it I think because I believe it said 67 or so. So that would just you know get just get us over that 100 mark and uh, I think it might still be you know uh, calibrating a little bit so we'll check on it. It uh, averages out your laps that you do and how much fuel you use each time to kind of give you an idea. So, we'll see what uh, the true average is over time. Creeping up on me again a little bit. Apologies if you can hear my uh, desks shaking. I'll help to get that fixed at some point. Try to clean that up, but. Uh, this is a bumpy track, so it's probably audible. We 
reaching that 21 again. His race is uh, intense in a whole different way because he's got to find a way to let guys by cleanly while they're coming up at him uh, 20 miles per hour faster. So that's uh, that's always pretty wild too in its own way. Do that. Just hold the line, man. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cut down because he's on the high side, and then he starts cutting down. If you just stay where you are and let the guys catching you make that decision, and uh, you don't get any bad situations where you both move the same way, same direction. I believe we are actually catching the guy in front of us. Um, I checked a while back and it was about 3.3, and now it's 2.4. I don't know if he hit the wall or something, or if we're uh, saving tires a little better. But I just happened to notice that now. Sure looks like we're catching him because it's 2.1 already now. Again, that's making me feel better about my uh, tire saving. Number seven behind us, though, is uh, keeping up just fine. So, uh, keep worrying about him a little bit. Looks like the 21 has uh, left. I believe that was the 21. So, I guess they uh, felt satisfied with the number of laps they logged. Starting to feel tighter. Keep up with the tire wear and you know, lift off just a tiny bit more when necessary. Seven's getting the benefit of our draft too. It's probably not that huge of a deal here, but uh, I know these trucks typically have a pretty strong draft. He's coming up on us. by but I don't want to burn my tires up either. Tricky situation. We do have a decent gap behind him though now so maybe uh, it would be worth it. I'll do I'll let him by if he makes uh, he gets his nose on me or something. In the meantime I'm not gonna push too hard and end up uh, Taking my tires off though. Somewhat of a bad corner there. Didn't have a nose on me, so I'm not gonna get him out of the get out of his way. We are fighting for a good position here. Dives it in. It's a aggressive move for no reason, but that's fine, man. Alright, did have a nose on me, he just dove it in, that's not very good racecraft as far as I'm concerned, but I'm just being a grumpy driver right now, so. Don't particularly like that move, but whatever, like I said, I was going to let him go if he got there. Ugh. I forgot about uh, arrow push. Got me a little bit tighter there, so. Gonna have to keep that in mind because I don't want to hit the wall anymore. It's just a little tap, I don't think it did anything, but not what I want. some of his draft though for a minute hopefully uh, we're not losing to too many other guys that 
might have uh, saved tires better. I'm watching the guy, the eight back there. Trying to get a feel for how uh, their tire saving has gone. So some smoke, remnants of smoke. Got the 14 lap truck crashing or something. Really worried he was going to end up on the <laughs> on the low line there. Kind of scared me a little. Well, I guess the uh, seven saved tires better than we did. Oh well. I did my best. Certainly wasn't trying to push it all. Uh, now that we have, uh, we know we're not going to be doing green flag pit stops. I'm actually going to bring this brake bias back all the way I can in the end car. Another three percent. Help get some rotation, hopefully. Could have been more aggressive with it from the start, but like I said, I didn't want to put myself in a position where I was going to be hurting myself. Spinning out because of the low, low brake bias. You know, this lap truck's struggling. They almost came down and hit the number six, it looked like. To make sure uh, we give them room. Oh, yeah, they're kind of doing like a weird swerve down at the exit corner, I guess because they have a bunch of wheel in it or something. Maybe they've gotten really tight. You see, they kind of like come down right after the corner. Gotta watch out for that. Clear him before that becomes a problem. And now we're getting a battle up here between the guy that was falling off and the seven that passed us. Let's see if the seven can get by. That eight is slowly catching us, but uh, not too fast. Hopefully, we can uh, maintain that gap. Don't know. Don't know if I saved my tires as well this time. Tried to do just about the same thing, but not sure. It has been a longer run though, as well. And so much for that. <sighs> well, it's going to make for a, a fixed race to the end, <laughs> I guess. Plenty of fuel, don't need that in there. Obviously going to be taking tires. Oh, man. Really would have preferred that go to the end, but... So hopefully we can get another good pit stop. The leader is pitting now. Look out for the pits being limit. You've got plenty of fuel. Jennings behind is pitting now. Okay. Come down here, where it's safe. Four, three, two, one. Box now. Okay. Decent stop. Haven't given myself any damage from my uh, wall hits, so that's good. Nothing that can be uh, any significant enough to repair anyway.
I think that was a good pit stop. We come out second. I believe so. Not sure what uh, is going on with this guy, but oh, maybe Lucky Dog or something. Where are we here? Second place. How about that? That's a Kyle Larson Phoenix Championship race pit stop. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to keep this, but we'll try. Kind of hard to see your uh, pit board. Two cars in front of it. <sighs> well, unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to get a jump from uh, P2, which is never easy. gonna be weird because um, it's not gonna be a very long run to the end but maybe enough that tire, I'm gonna wish I was tire saving it's gonna be tricky obviously those two trucks ahead uh, by the pace car are gonna get their wave around so we'll be uh, in second position See how bad the tire spin really is. It's I think we can pretty much floor it. Let's see, uh, once we get kind of near where it's going to be exactly. It's tough. Two to go. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. I'm going to go on to go right now. All right. Pretty nervous time. Didn't expect to be here exactly after the pit stops, but I guess I kind of just hit hit it pretty well. Or maybe the other guys uh, had some troubles. Let's see if I can uh, get a view of his quarter panel back there if I might have to do the look to the left. Just uh, can't reach the line before he does. Focus. Get ready. Going green. The pace car is in. Ah, I got some tire spin. A little bit too much. We're fine. We're still P3. saw how not fast I was in qualifying, so let's hit some fast laps, I guess. <laughs> Go ahead, 14, I think, come down on power. Just got some arrow push here I'm worrying about. Ooh, got a little bit sideways there. That was kind of sketchy. Don't put too much wheel in it. Bit of space. Okay, try to save some tires a little bit, maybe. Just a little bit. But 
but I uh, don't want to get past either. I think the track position is going to be important because, I mean, obviously there's not enough time to be trying to wait for a difference in tire grip, trying to make a pass later, you know. That's why it's kind of a tricky spot because you want to try to go fast, but there's enough time left that uh, you don't want to kill the tires either. I uh, don't feel like I have anything for the first two guys. Maybe the 10? Maybe? Probably not, though. Those uh, two get to fighting up there, that'd be a, a welcome sight. Not sure if the 10's gonna reach him. But he looks like he's trying. He's making an effort, it looks like. Maybe he'll burn off his tri tires trying to get up there. Still uh, plenty could happen. I also see the 8 I predicted would not make it all the way through the race. As a lap car now. Not sure if what happened to him was his fault or not, but. Uh, he was racing really close to guys, so wasn't sure about his long-term health. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, it looks like uh, he has ended up as a damaged lap-down car. Slash truck. Looks like the one's probably just maintaining his uh, gap between second place. So I'm not sure if uh, Ten's going to reach him. But we'll see. the 8's going to be a good lap truck. Looks like he's trying to run that high side. Oh, well. Really messed up the 10 there. Is the same thing going to happen to us now? He kind of dives down off the wall and exit. We're fine. Didn't get to enter this corner as well as I would have liked, but it's fine. Are still okay. Just okay. Low, a little bit rotate. They're close up there. Uh, about uh, three tenths, four tenths. Ooh, pushed pretty bad there. That was bad for the tires, I bet. I think we can hold on. Well, I hope so. It's getting tighter. And I think the one's driving away from the 10 now. was just uh, maintaining the gap, I believe. So he didn't burn his own tires off while the 10 tried to reach him. So I think the 1 has this one in his pocket. No more wrecks, please. We've already gotten a late race caution. We don't need any more. Me worried back there. That's how we're coming to five to go. Looks like we're maintaining behind us, that's great news. Just kinda, 
Now, easing up on the throttle a little bit mid-corner so that way I can keep uh, my left sides near the bottom. That's doing uh, pretty well for us. We're actually gaining on the guys behind now, so that's great news. Just gotta not hit the wall and exit or something as it gets tighter. And uh, I don't think we have a shot at the 10 unless his tires are really, really bad from trying to chase down the leader. They have to fall off a cliff like right now. Whew. I'm uh, driving on the edge. That's for sure. Pushing it just, uh, just enough so I'm not getting into the wall on exit. So these walls sneak up on, on you here at Dover, that's for sure. But uh, I think I should just uh, take it easy now because we are one to go here coming up and I'm not gaining any spots or losing any spots so long as I have a, uh, a clean lap. So. Good job, Eric. Good race, good win, fun stuff. Well done, All right. Yeah, setup guy. <laughs> Advertising. I got myself a third place with a uh, free setup, though, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right. Yeah, we'll just bring it down Bay Road and find an open spot. All right, third place. That's awesome. I love it. That was terrible. I couldn't get off the Go ahead and do this real quick. Yeah, everyone's gone already. I don't think I'm going to bother doing this. I'll go ahead and do that. So guys don't feel like they have to buy a setup to uh, win a race or have a good finish. Alright, so we'll see what happened out there. And let you uh, guys know about this uh, pretty cool website for setups. So I imagine we're going to see a lot of that and that. <laughs> you know, the wall hitting stuff. Ooh, yeah, that was that early crash. Let's see uh, how that looked from my perspective. Okay, so... I was slowing down, but see, like, I was going so light on the brakes because I didn't want to, like, you know, if I hit the brakes too hard, it's going to pull me to the left. And I thought that might be where he was going to end up, so I would just be breaking myself into the accident. So I, I hit it pretty firm, and you can even see, look, it's pulling me. A little bit. <laughs> so, um, thankfully I saw he was starting to move down, so I was able to pick the right path. And uh, even keep it out of the wall, so that's nice. Kept it clean. I didn't notice that, but the uh, 15 hit the inside wall pretty good, trying to avoid it. It was a pretty firm hit. I wonder uh, if they had bad damage from that. They didn't have such a great race afterwards, so unfortunately they might have. But, uh, I guess I handled it well. I thought maybe I could hit the brakes a little harder, but I was afraid of that brake bias. But uh, brake bias helped me the rest of the race. Yeah, you see I, I pushed so hard that final bit. Um, that first pit stop it was 90-90, and here it was 87-92, so... Um, I was doing something right with the tire saving, because at the end there I wasn't really trying to save tires all that much, just a tiny bit. 
and it, it clearly was feeling different on the longer run. So we've got some wall hits. Like I said, gonna see plenty of those. Ooh, wild out of the corner. Can get tight and hit the wall, probably. Ooh, just a tiny, barely little touch. It's real hard when you're on the outside like that. Yeah, there's the eight diving in on someone. Well, actually, this is the guy that dove in on me later in the race, but like I said, that eight was pretty aggressive too. Just, uh, I don't know. I guess I just prefer, you know, try to pass guys on the exit of a corner, you know, like uh, get up close behind them and then uh, just uh, go a little lower than them on the outside of the corner so you establish that you have the nose and then, you know, continue the pass later. If you can do that, that just seems like such like so much uh, safer, much a safer way to get by someone than uh, just hoping they're not going to still take their normal line as you dive it in. Sure, why we're seeing that. Seven has some damage there. I don't know if I noticed that during the race. Number one, didn't the one get the wall? I thought I saw some right side damage later in the race. Just a tiny bit. Pretty much nothing. More uh, damaged trucks. From the walls. Gonna have to go a little faster here because uh, we're just gonna see that over and over. And just uh, watch whenever guys are nearby each other. Wow, he's, that thing's all out of control or something. They might need to try a lower uh, steering ratio or something because it looks like they don't have very good uh, fine control over where the truck's going. Like even on straightaways, kind of waving around, you know. Ooh, that's a hard hit. I'm watching these, because, uh... Got some guys side by side, or nearby each other anyway. So I'm not seeing too much. Is that the wall on exit? It sure is. It's dangerous when you got guys around you. Because they could, uh, be right behind you. And that sudden change in speed they might not be able to keep up with. 21 trying to get out of the way and gets up in the wall. Ooh, that was one of the cautions, it must have been. So, uh, that 24 who's having some uh, trouble. A strange line there, they get into the wall and then, uh, is that the 13? Couldn't avoid him. 13. Ooh, and they take a hard hit. Did uh, anyone else get into them later? Nope. Ooh, they, they, oh my god. Oh my god, they cut it close. Oh man, this is a guy that finished ahead of us too. Oh my god, that's within, that's close enough that net code could have killed them. Oh my god. Oh boy, well we could have finished second if they took themselves out of the race like that. Wow. Not sure why we're seeing this. Uh, trouble on the restart? That's a strange one. Still lost track where the wall was I guess. Seeing that guy for no reason. Oh no! These two come together. Hard to say who that's on. I'd have to see it again. Yeah, 18's pretty far from the wall. They should probably be a little higher up. I think that would probably be on the 18. Gives them another tap too after you got them out of sorts. Running behind me. 
ended up passing me on this run, but uh, thanks for, thankfully for that nice pit stop we had at the end, we ended up finishing uh, ahead. close making our way through the race we're over halfway through because we spread out and we're just getting a bunch of wall hits looks like at this point what did I do did I get the wall oh yeah I did get the wall I remember that now just had a tap I don't even uh, no, I don't I don't know did it even give me a zero X I don't I don't know if it did but uh, I was pretty confident it, it didn't actually hurt the the truck at all. Maybe just a scrape on the side. Uh, seeing that uh, number seven, he was ahead of me at this point, I believe. And the leader, what's the leader up to? Hitting the wall on entry, maybe? Nah. Nothing. Just a prediction. Because uh, he was cutting it close. This looks dangerous. Ooh, 13 super slow exiting the corner. This is what happened to the 8 in the end. So it looks like the 13 was getting super tight because they were running that middle line and uh, probably had worn tires. And uh, the 8 wasn't really ready for him to be that slow, I guess, and kind of just runs into the back of him. Because, you know, you got to imagine he's probably, uh, his tires are worn too, so he's probably trying his best to turn left. And uh, just couldn't do it enough, and then, uh, well, they came together. I think that was our final caution. Whoa. <laughs> that was close, too. That two's had uh, a couple of close calls. And a couple, uh, well, calls. <laughs> As in, he got damage. Got into things. Just, uh, some caution stuff. Loose on those called tires. Got anything here worth seeing other than wall hits? It's the one passing the eight. Every time I see this guy for a split second, I think it's me because of the white and orange, and even the kind of like font and uh, on the numbers and everything looks similar. Team coming up, hit the wall. Ooh, what happened there? I remember the two after the race saying they were real loose. This must be a. Uh... Oh well, that's <laughs> that's not so much loose as they clobbered the wall. Maybe it wasn't the two that said it. It was somebody. Maybe the three. Can't remember. Having a rough time though as this thing winds down. We're fighting for that final, uh, the final spot. Oh, whoa! Got the wall. That almost uh, was pretty bad. And uh, that should be the end of the race at this point. Yeah, so that's all we got. So uh, I think that that big pit stop was a big part of our uh, getting a couple spots at the finish there. After that final caution, having that track position, I think that was really good for us. We had our best lap on lap 82, because I was actually pushing it there, unlike early in the race. I was actually kind of uh, trying to go a little faster. So, let's see. Before pit stops, where were we? We were fifth. So we went from fifth to second from the pit stops. Nice. I'm just going to go ahead and review that. Kind of a weird thing to look, <laughs> look in the replays for, but... Um, I'm interested in seeing it. So we kept it close. This is a nice view for this. Um, now everyone's kind of going pit speed limit. I could go down there. As my stop's coming up. Didn't have a great, uh, we didn't even have a great, you know, pit, uh, pit location because we didn't qualify too well. But uh, we just go ahead and go ahead and go straight because you can do that on racing. racing. That's what everyone does. And uh, just uh, I guess we were able to not spin the tires all that much. Whenever we uh, 
hit the gas, kind of found a good balance between uh, getting out of there quick and not spinning tires. Got a nice launch out of the spot because you see I kind of like eased up and went and you see these guys spin the tires a little bit and I think that helped us uh, have some speed. I actually was checking up a little bit there because I was nervous because I'm like driving through people and it feels so wrong. <laughs> I didn't even need to check up like that but then we still got it and uh, helped us uh, I think get our third place so that's that. Started ninth, finished third as the number four so we actually exceeded expectations there and uh, that's incredible to me because we were out there on a free setup and uh, that's pretty awesome I think So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching that was a fun race I'm glad uh, we stayed out of trouble had a couple cautions but not too many it wasn't a wreck fest and a uh, shout out to uh, old school racing forums for providing some solid setups for free that's awesome alright thank you for watching